today. Mr. Atlas is confirmed to be here. He's got the best music technology program in the state. And I heard he's talking scholarships. I have so many questions for him. Be there soon. All right, you guys, welcome back on another series of Spider-Man 2. I'm currently recording this on Tuesday on the video gameplay, and it should be ready to post for this Friday after Thanksgiving holiday. And I hope you guys have like a wonderful meal like up, up ahead with your families or friends. And I hope you guys enjoy like a great ho holiday uh, uh, vacation. And yeah. Yeah, so far with this game, it's been going flawless. And like with, with the new gadget that we unlocked for the side quest, and new gadget that we did, and the more explore like we did with Manhattan and Mario Alice and Peter Parker, so we can extend like more over here, over to New Jersey, I guess. And yeah, that's where we need supposed to go on a club fair. And let's see what kind of like more stories they have for us on Spider-Man 2. And so far you guys, this game has been like awesome. And it seems, let me see, can we get more suits? Oh yeah, it seems we can get more suits now to unlock, which is pretty nice. Let me see. Oh, okay. So if we want to unlock more. We have to increase our level 2 to level up our Spider-Man. Oh, dude, that's not too bad at all. So this might be easy enough to get the suit as well. So that's pretty nice. Okay. So let's see what we can do with gadget. Oh yeah, don't forget to hit the like, the notification bell, and hit the subscribe button for more gaming content like this. It's, it said we can do like more gadgets and stuff to unlock. Oh, so we don't have enough tech part yet. So we need to collect maybe more city tokens and more tech parts. Can we do this one? We can do this one for the upshot. Oh, we could also do the web shooters. Oh, that's pretty interesting, you guys. Let's activate the upshot and craft it. Let's see what other suits we could do. Oh yeah, we can also do suit tech as well. But we don't have enough yet to unlock the second one. All the damage as well. Interesting. Okay. Skill points. We don't have anything yet until we do like more missions along the way. So it's not too bad at all, it was pretty neat. Alright you guys, I, I guess that's pretty much all to show on the suit and tech and also with the gadgets. Alright, let's continue on with the story you guys and I hope you guys enjoyed the clip. Seems pretty quiet. Still no sign of Lee. Or the gang that took him. Wonder if Pete's having better luck than me.
Hey, Pete, you ready to come by the Foundation? Sure. I'm excited to see what you're up to. Great. I'm excited to show you. Oh, gotta grab this call from MJ. See you soon. Hey, how you doing? Good. Just got off the phone with Harry, and this Foundation thing could be interesting. Oh, nice. Some hope on my work front, too. I dug into the tech that gang used to mess with the prison transfer. It's DARPA-level stuff. Yeah, whoever's behind them has a ton of resources. Miles thinks he saw their leader. Some kind of big game hunter, fur vest-looking guy. And the Sandcastle competition starts now! And no cheating! Ugh. Dude, guys, like, honestly, it's crazy, like, how fast you can just hit the characters, hard, like, huh? back then. Dang, that's pretty nice. That's a really nice, nice touch here to the game. So I tell the cops that someone's out to get us, but they don't listen to me. No one ever does. Time to take matters into my own hands. Marco was really laying low these past few years. I would have helped him if I'd known he was in trouble. Hold that thought, spider stuff. Hey, I was just talking to my source at the raft. Marco's been belligerent and incoherent since he got there. But they said he's starting to show signs of improvement. Whatever you're doing with those crystals, keep it up. Hey, hon, I'm back. So, you were saying? Oh, nice. Some hope on my work front, too. I dug into the tech that gang used to mess with the prison transfer. It's DARPA-level stuff. Yeah, whoever's behind them has a ton of resources. Miles thinks he saw their leader. Some kind of big game hunter, fur vest looking guy. Interesting. I'll keep digging. If I can get this story on the front page, it might help us track him down faster. Maybe save my job, too. I was wondering what this place was. That's Emily's tree. This is perfect. You made it. I thought you said this was a startup. Yeah, I was hoping for something a little less this. But my dad was the one who, you know, he made all the arrangements. Peter and... Parker. <laughs> so, what do you think? It's a far cry from that chop shop that Otto had you in. And now that you're on board, this place is really gonna start cooking. Uh, 
Uh, Dad, Pete hasn't decided he's joining yet. Oh. Really? But I was gonna give him a tour. Let him decide for himself. All right. You know, seeing you boys together again. <laughs> right then. Have fun. Get your badge out. Let's go exploring. <laughs> so the first thing I want to show you is downstairs. Harry, this place, right? Dad went a little more over the top than I would have liked. How did you... We got things set up while I was still undergoing treatment, but when I got out, I made a few changes. Like what? Diverted my salary into research projects, installed a diverse board to keep us on the right track, and made sure all research aligned with our mission. To heal the world. First, I want you to meet Dr. Young, who's a leading entomologist. You know what entomology is. Yeah. Dr. Young is doing this super cool research on bees. Or, to be more precise, on bee predators. Yes, this is Catherine. Here, follow me. Oh, of course. Come through. Dr. Mullen, that data does not cross tabulate with the AI learning research in the last milestone. Ready to talk to Dr. Young? You must be Peter. So nice to meet you. I think you'll like this project. Great to meet you, Dr. Young. Harry says you're working with bees. Yes, and it's quite an urgent situation. A full third of the food you eat every day comes from crops pollinated by bees. But worldwide populations are in steep decline, primarily due to a significant predator. The carnivorous bee wolf. So, we developed an innovative way to help the bees. Want to see how? Whoa, this is cool. These little drones are essentially bee bodyguards that were training to detect and attack bee wolves. AKA, bee killer wasps. And you're helping with the machine learning algorithm. Do you see those little holographic bee wolves? The better you are at shooting those, the better our drones get at recognizing what to target. The idea is for the drones to scare the bee wolves away, not hurt them. Hear that, little bee wolves? You still get to pollinate another day, too. Veronica, you ready again? Coming for you, bee wolf! Hear that, little bee wolves? You still get to pollinate another day, too. Oh, nice! I'm not gonna mess with my bees. Yes! Bee patrol on duty. Yep. Wow, actually guys, the way how to do this and a new like fun crest with the science and the new technology like for the game. Dude, that looks like really cool. It's like a really nice touch how like it's Sonic Inc. Oh, yeah. uh, did this to the game. Like super nice. Gotta Look protect the that. hive. That's pretty awesome. Oh, I missed. There nice. we go. Peter, a very productive session. We got great data. Okay, flying home. Welcome to entomology. If those virtual bee wolves you just took out were real, you'd have saved the lives of about 
2,500 bees. Wow. I'd love to help any way I can. I could take a look at juicing the neural network speed. Oh, yes, please. Maybe if Pete decides to join us, you two can talk some more. Thanks, Dr. Young. I've got so much more to show you, Pete. Let's go. Now, up ahead is the medical research area. We're doing cutting-edge proton beam work, using protons instead of x-rays, with better targeting and less radiation. It's all the stuff we talked about. All the stuff we dreamed could make the world a better place. That's the idea. <laughs> Harry, a moment, if you please. Uh, any chance I can wait a sec? It'll be quick. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, Doc. This is my friend Peter. Peter, Dr. Connors. We've actually met. I used to work with Dr. Octavius. You came to the lab once to consult on electrotactile stimuli. Oh. Yes. It's a shame about Dr. Octavius. His work had so much promise. Any changes since this morning? Dizziness, aches, pains. Anxiety, impulsive thoughts. <laughs> nope. I've never been better. That's what worries me. Nice to see you again. Your doctor is the lizard. Dad believes in second chances. Hey, listen, I gotta go make a call. But, uh, feel free to explore. Come meet me upstairs when you're ready. So that was crazy. But it seems to be working for everyone to have Dr. Connors here. Guess I'll look around. Nice. Seems inspired by some of Otto's work without the hardwiring problems. Wonder if Dr. Connors has used this. Though after that lizard rampage, he may be done testing his work on himself. This is the original prototype from Otto's lab. This would have been crime scene evidence. Wonder how it ended up here. So much to see here. Where do I even start? It looked like we were on track. And now? I was slightly off base. We're over a month behind target. Hey, we're doing you The origins of life on Earth remain a mystery. How could organic life forms have arisen from non biological chemical compounds? Recent discoveries of meteorites containing organic molecules considered the building blocks of life may provide a potent protein. I should explore as much as I can right now. Attention. Please use caution near the particle accelerator today. We are performing this as you may be straight cables. Hey, really? what are you doing with these bikes? We're working on ultra-efficient batteries, charged by bicycles. These bikes? Can I ride them? Not right now, but when they're road ready, we'll need people to test them. Nice. I'll try to come back. I think we should revoke his PhD.
Cool fish. Not just fish, research subjects. Want to feed them? Yeah. Japanese koi fish have well-studied pigmentation variation, which is ideal for our research into enhanced reflectivity. Stacks of intracellular anhydrous guanine crystals. Separated by cytoplasm, we're finding it very useful for eco-friendly roofing materials. So cool! May would have loved this place. Yeah! Hey, whenever you're ready, come meet me up here. I'm on my way. I'll see you in a sec. Welcome to entomology. There's so much to explore. But I shouldn't keep Harry waiting. Drones. Yeah, uh, doing a little cross collaboration between the energy lab and the agricultural lab. Ultra light drones using the new battery tech for crop monitoring. Very cool. Do they collect crop data too? They will, by the time we're done with them. That's awesome. Thanks. The need for medical organ transplants far outnumbers available donors. An innovative solution uses 3D printing technology to create custom replacement organs, decreasing the likelihood of transplant rejection and increasing the chances of a successful outcome. Here at the Emily May Foundation, this cutting edge work is being put to use saving lives. Let's see what's going on here. Maybe I can help. Oh yeah, that would take a while. I'm not sure there's time to dig in now, but I'd sure like to come back and work on this later. So many cool things here! Today's mindful meditation class will be held in the atrium due to overwhelming interest. What's this? Some kind of radiation treatment, maybe? Wonder if this is what they used for Harry's treatment. Looks like Connors is putting the research he did after he lost his arm to good use. Wonder if he regrets testing that serum on himself. It must be unnerving walking around with dormant lizard DNA in your body. Welcome to Space Research. Imagine coming to work here every day. It's almost too good to be true. Could start paying off the mortgage. But what if Spidey work gets in the way? <sighs> Gotta think this through before signing on. How long did you need today, right? Two hours. I gotta find a new place to rent. It's closer. This is a reminder that next week is our softball team. You really have a particle accelerator? We use it to send proton beams to that treatment room downstairs. It's being repaired right now, but we'll have it back up in no time. Where are we heading now? Up to the top floor. Your energy seems really good, Harry. I feel great. Did you hear so put your way back helmet on and think back. Even before high school. To middle school. Okay. Now, do you know the... Hang on. You're a popular guy. Sorry, it's just my tutoring job. You were saying? 
You know the stuff everyone studies in middle school with Gregor Mendel and the pea plants? Yeah, I think so. About genetics and plant hybridization? Exactly. So, Dr. Foster up ahead, he's won every top prize in the field for his work with plant genetics. Wow. Hey, when you were walking around, did you have a chance to feed the fish? Yes, that was so great. Interesting research project. And lowers the old cortisol levels, too. Right? I honestly think it's one of my favorite spots in the building. I see what you're saying. The algorithm is similar to long divisions, uh, if you look at it that way. Got it. This way, dude. Thank you for understanding. See you soon. That's precisely the issue. Excuse me. This laboratory is currently the testing ground for our GMO crops, examining real-world productivity and nutritional content in plants that have been optimized for specific temperature or water-stressed environments. This is where science meets real-world conditions, getting us one step closer to literally feeding the planet. Hmm. I didn't say I couldn't reproduce it. I just haven't. Yet. So, we're dead in the water. Dr. Foster. Thanks, Dr. Foster. Ah, Peter, I presume. Harry talks about you frequently. So nice to meet you. Dr. Foster is working on agricultural efficiency. With the population growing and the climate changing unpredictably, we need to adapt more quickly than nature normally would. Genetic recombination can customize crops to best meet these new challenges, be it extreme weather or an increase in pests. Would you like to see this test bed? Okay. The idea is to tweak a plant's genes to maximize optimal qualities. For instance, a plant that can thrive in drought conditions. In our simulation, the goal is to maximize growth. Why don't you practice on this? Okay. Match the base pairs to incorporate as many growth genes as you can. That'll be a plant that can feed the world. Interesting. Let's see. Alright guys, hold on. This would try uh to take me a while to do the puzzle. So we're gonna see like how we're gonna try to, to censor them together. Hmm, this is like pretty interesting. Uh let's see what we can do. We cannot uh, water this one around that I can connect with those green, green uh, two right there, like on the sides. So we cannot do those. So, in order to do it, we had to place it like where it needs to go. So, that's the thing, guys. Like, how to match this. Maybe this one over here. Oh, maybe it's like that. Ah, there we go. That wasn't too bad at all. Okay, I think I get the hang of it. Great! Now you're ready to try the real thing. This is a plant we're working on to grow well in drought conditions. 
Corporations patent GMO seeds for profit and are rightly criticized, but ours are open source, developed for sustainability instead of financial gain. So smart. Okay, if I combine these traits... One step closer to feeding the world. <laughs> nice work. Listen, I know you're not officially on, but could you look at one more gene for me? Curious to get your take on it. It's a crop specifically adapted to urban gardens. Of course. What next? Beautiful work, Peter. <laughs> Using this technology, we're on track to end world hunger by 2035. Wow. I know a rooftop you could use for a real world test if you're interested. Oh, very much so. Harry was right. You'll be a real asset here. Thank you, Dr. Foster. So now where? Last stop. Might be my favorite. It's commanding, but not overbearing. Playful, but not tasteless. Impressive, but not show offy. Your office. Or is it our office? Harry. Now remember, the things you've seen today are just a small taste of what we're working on. But don't decide just yet, not till you've seen this last thing. Okay. Come on, where's your badge? You'll need it to get in. Uh, where did I put it? Don't tell me you lost it. Um, nope, false alarm. Right here. Oh, well, you guys, this is one more time my video on my 34 minute mark. And I see you again next time on the next weekend. And then next uh, two uh, game clip, I'm gonna post this on Saturday. So I hope you guys enjoy the clip. See you guys and have a great day. Later, everybody.